Hi everyone, my name is Adogs, and thank you all for coming to my channel. So today we'll be looking over uh, Hexorob Sorceress Aquamarine, what she does, and then look at some of the Aldi cards, and then look at the new support that she got in the set too. So she has three skills, so continuous on the Vanguard Circle. This one is also regarded as Hexorob Sorceress. Continuous, and then the second skill, which is continuous in the Vanguard Circle. If you Persona Road this turn, this unit gets Strike plus 1, and the power increase of your trigger unit gets plus 10k power. And then Auto Vanguard Circle, when a trigger unit is revealed, the drive check of the battle of this unit attack. In cost, Soul plus 1, choose one of your regards and stand it. So, on Persona Ride, this is going to be a very, very strong card. I said, essentially, by drive checking two units, you can Soul Blast 2 to stand two regards. And then your trigger effects, if you get any triggers, um, they're increased by 10k. So just say fronts, for example, you hit a front, the front essentially is 20k of the front row, which is really nice. But also, that drive plus one is free. You don't have to pay any resources for it, you get it for free. Now, the only downside I see with this card, currently, is that I don't think this is the perfect card to put in the right deck. The reason for that is that when you go first or even go second just for example, if you don't hit any triggers, or just say if you do hit triggers, um, depending on how many defensive triggers your opponent gets, um, it can shut down the turn. Because unlike the original Hexorob Sorceress, she actually allowed to give our units power when we drive track a trigger. So her original skills were when you drive track reveals a trigger unit, you can choose one of your regards and it gets plus tanky power until the end of the turn. And then act on the Vanguard Circle once per turn, if you percent around the stone, cost counter plus one, so plus one, build up to one trigger up front, put it from your hand, put it on top of your deck, and it gets drive plus one to the end of the turn. Just the main focus is it for the first skill. So by still running her in the ride line, um, we still have a just a just the first grade free turn we can still kind of make some strong power columns because again we build a trigger unit and get someone to take a power. So I think it's because of that, like extra Aquamarine is definitely a very very strong card, but it really shines when you persona ride. So it's because of that that um the only problem I have with is again can't hit great numbers to a persona ride. So I think we'll have four Aquamarines in the main deck, maybe just the one original hex roll in the right deck. I think it's perfectly fine, as I said, because even if you don't get a restand off from the, you know, extra Sorceress on um, your first great free turn, um, if you don't have a Lala Rita, for example, that's fine, because you'll still be making some big numbers. And again, you have your grade 2 unless you look, 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 unless you look at the top 3, so you can kind of um, see what you're getting, and you have tons of cards that can manipulate that, putting stuff on the top and bottom. Another old card that I think it's going to work really well with Hexor or Sorceress Aquamarine is Recurring Magic Lala Rita. <clears throat> so her skill is at the end of the battle that you drive check with your tree unit. If your vanguard is Hexor or Sorceress, you can counter bus one and soul bus one, choose one of the other regards, stand it, and retire this unit. So on the turns that you only see one trigger from Aquamarine, usually you'd only be able to send one regard. But if you combine this with Lala Rita, you can stand two regards. So it's essentially a counter plus one and soul plus two. If you have a Lala Rita, you get the stand two regards. And I'm going to persona right turn that's really strong. So it's because of that, I think she'll still be running a few copies in the deck. As kind of like a fail safe, if you only hit one trigger, you can still get five attacks every turn. Because essentially, if you persona right every turn, persona riding every turn, you get five attacks off every single turn, it's going to be devastating for the opponent. So that's why I think Lala Rita will um, probably still be running a few copies in the deck as she can help mitigate uh, getting those five attacks every turn if you only reveal one trigger. Next we have Octoray. I think this card will also be ran in the x Roll builds too still, which is when she's placed on Regard, if you have a grade 3 or grade of Angle Sorcerers in the card, it means cost kind of last one. Look at two cards on top of your deck, choose up to two from among them, put them into your hand, and put the rest on the top of your deck in any order. If you put two cards into your hand, you can choose a card from your hand and put it on the bottom of your deck. In order the Regard Circle, when the unit attacks, if you persona this turn, this should get plus 5k power until the end of the turn. 
So she's a very strong um, stamina attacker on Persona right? as again, each time she attacks she gets 5k. So she meshes well with Aquamarine. But also, now with Aquamarine it doesn't cost any counter blast, we actually have a lot more counter blast to use Octoray. So we can essentially um, continuously plusing Octoray whenever we play one. So that's really, really strong. So um, I think because of that, she'll probably run up max copies instead of selling attacker and just a way to generate advantage. Now with the new cards that Hexdrop Aquamarine got, so first of all we'll go with the Spiral Cutie Angel. So her skill is auto when this card is discarded from your hand during your right phase. You can Soul Blast 1, put this unit on the bottom of your deck and draw a card. And auto when this unit is placed in Regal Circle. If you persona over this turn, you can cast Counter Blast 1, look at the top two cards of your deck, use a card from Mono, put it into your hand and put the rest on the bottom of your deck. So uh, the reason why this is going to be solid in now in the extra builds if you decide to run it is that essentially when we discard from right deck now we can solve us one and just break it when we draw one. So it's a way for us to maintain hand still, have some hand advantage. And then also it could help us draw into other pieces we can use to core to aggro out. And then her second skill, again when you space some regular so if you put a persona red stone, you can look at two cards in deck. Add one from among them, and you can put the rest on the top of bottom of your deck. So, which is another way to uh, kind of stack our deck, which is great. But it's also another form of plusing, just like the Octoray. So essentially, we're getting a lot more cards that can actually um, actively plus in the deck, which is really good. It's something that I think Hexdrop really needed, which is kind of like another form of plusing, because I feel like the new Hexdrop is actually like the finisher that we actually needed. Because we can always continuously do five attacks if we can if we keep percent riding every turn. We don't have to rely on the um, I can't remember the grief his name. It's the one who is finished like a battle wolf, dealt battle duel effect. We don't have to rely on her anymore. Because as long as we're getting five attacks every turn, that's enough to push to actually like finish the game. So that's that's really great. So and now that we have ways of actually plusing now with her again during the ride deck. Being able to draw stuff, uh, being able to draw cards, and then uh, essentially being able to draw more cards from the center right, uh, this is really, really good. So that's definitely a, definitely a solid card for, um, sorry, definitely a solid card for Hexrob. Next we have um, Efelgen Wizard. So this is a really really good card. So when it attacks, if you have a Vango of Hex, if sorry, if you have a Vango of Sorceress in this card name, you can look at the top card of your deck. If your Vanguard is stand, you may put that card you looked at into your soul. And then auto rigor so when your drive tech reveals a tree unit, this unit gets plus 5k power into their turn. So this card's like a bit of a like bit of like a, a weaker all-way in regards to power, but it's fine only for the fact that it doesn't um, require any resources, it doesn't cost any counter blast. So essentially drive tricking one trigger unit. By giving it to the rear guard, um, it gets plus 15 instead of 10. Another good thing about it as well, compared to Old Wayne, was that it only gained the power if your Vanguard was extra sorceress, I'm pretty sure. So, because of that, um, the extra power gains you can get even earlier. Another thing I liked about this, um, this rear guard as well was that it allows you to scry early too, and it doesn't cost anything. So it's kind of like the, um, oh, it was the common grade to original this place. You can uh, look at top two, soul charge one, and leave the, and leave the rest on the top. Um, that was also a really good card. So essentially by running four of this card and we've run four of the other card as well, we actually have an even more strong early game too, which is really good. As I said, we're, we're now actively um, turboing more into our deck to actually get to triggers, which is what we need. So this is a really good, really, really strong card. Again, this is a strong standalone attacker, um, which meshes well with both Hexer Orbs, because it can get like a lot more power. So, And then um, just being able to, again, manipulate the top of your deck without doing anything. Essentially, as long as it attacks, you can look at the top card of your deck and put it top bottom. So, um, sorry, you put in your soul on the bottom. So it's really, really strong. So next we have 
who plays with an angel. So her skill is uh, when this unit boosts a regard, if you have a grade 3 or greater stand vanguard, you can counter blast one to look up the top two cards of your deck. Choose the two cards from among them, put them on the top of your deck in any order, and put the rest among them in any order. So this one might not see much play possibly, but the reason why I thought I'd just bring this card up is that it is a it's it's a way of also me playing our deck. It's kind of like an emergency where we have no other ways to me play. As I said, because she she gets every turn as long as she boosts, so we can kind of get rid of the top two cards in my deck if we need to. Uh, but yeah, I just thought I'd bring her up as I think this could be quite a solid uh, card as well. And then lastly, the, this is a very interesting one, um, but I thought this was actually really good. This could potentially be a way to set up defensive triggers. And the reason why I say that is because of her skill. So when she's placed in Guardian Circle, if you have a Vanguard with Sorceress in this card name, you can look at the top card of your deck and you can put it on the top or bottom of your deck. So potentially you look at the top card, if it's not a trigger, just put it on the bottom. And then potentially that your damage check could just be a trigger. And if it is, well, this has just helped you save so much shield now. Because getting a defensive trigger, depending on what kind of deck's reversing, it can potentially shut the opponent's turn down or um, it just makes guarding turns a lot easier. And I said if you open multiple of this of this great one, you can do it, you know, multiple times, just trying to dig for a defensive trigger. So I think this is um, definitely a really good kind of card to run. If you want to run in the deck, I um, I think I probably would run a couple of copies. As again, it's, it is a way of trying to get like defensive triggers so that we're not using as much of our hand. So on our next turn, we actually have the resources to do it. So overall, with all the support the Hextrop Sorceress actually got in set 10, um, I think it gave the deck a massive boost, a boost that it needed. It gave them a lot more ways of advantage. It gave the deck an actual finisher, which is just in the form of the Vanguard itself, being able to potentially just do five attacks every turn, which is really strong. Um, a lot more ways of generating resources with Soul, again with the um, Ephorgant Wizard, and then also with Akramarine just getting a, a drive for free, as long as we have Road, which is really great. And then if we ever decide to run more copies of Hextrol, the original one in our deck, uh, they can be Sun Road over each other. So this is just overall, it's just really good. So Hexrop got a very, very uh, strong power boost, and I think this could potentially be a threat in the meta, which is great. And so this is something that I think Hexrop's needed for a long time, and I think Bush Road really, um, really hit the the nail on the head with this one. So that's it for me. Um, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Hey, dogs out. See ya.